I love visiting colleges. I always learn so much when I go there. And recently I was at Millsaps College in Jackson, Mississippi, and the admissions office had set up an interview with a faculty member. I love talking to faculty because I find out the straight scoop, really, about how colleges are run because it's really the faculty that is the boss of most colleges. So anyway, I was at Millsaps and I had this meeting lined up with a professor who didn't show. So at the last minute, I ended up talking to another professor in the economics department and I was shooting the breeze with him for just about 10 minutes, to, you know, showing some skepticism about the um, quality of a liberal arts education and what that really means for both faculty and students and he shared with me two great anecdotes that really helped to um, to highlight the difference in the kind of education one receives at a small liberal arts college than at some of the larger uh, universities whether they be state-run or private so uh, let's have a listen to what uh, these two stories are that he told me Mark, my name's Pat Taylor, and I teach economics here at, at Millsaps. Um, I'm really enjoying my visit here, and one of the things that people are saying, and what most colleges campus, when I'm on a small liberal arts college campus, they always are saying, oh, well, we have really great relationships between student and faculty. Um, how does that play out here at Millsaps? I mean, is that, is that real, or is that just a marketing ploy? It can sound awfully cliche, can't it? Well, the way, here's the way I answer that generally, Mark, when, when students or faculty, prospective students or, and fa families ask me about that, and families ask me about that, I generally say, yes, we do have very good relationships between students and faculty. In fact, the way I prove that is I say, we get lots of wedding invitations. Really? And students don't invite to their weddings people they don't like and haven't developed a pretty close relationship for. In fact, here's one right here. Actually, this is You're a, kidding. This, this is, is not a, This is a, a, an invitation to the couple's wedding, uh, one of the wedding showers. I hear men go to those <laughs> now. But uh, the, the wedding invitation will follow. And, and this so, is this is wow. just to be sure. This is not a setup, right? I mean, no, we had, absolutely I not. This we is, hadn't met each is, other before ten minutes ago, right? Absolutely not. No, Holy no, cow! I wouldn't be smart enough to plan that. This is, <laughs> came in the mail this weekend. So, so when when the Millsaps admissions office says, "Oh, well, we're all about community and we're all about um, building strong relationships," they're, they're telling not, the truth. They're telling the truth. So, we were just talking about faculty student interactions, and you just. What other evidence? I mean, the hardest thing when we talk about this is that there's really no evidence. Everybody says, oh, I go over to my, fa my teacher's uh, house for dinner, or we can do that. But you never really see it happening. So t tell me another story. Tell well, me another story. You don't think this is a setup, Mark, but just this morning, uh, one of my students from last semester brought me this book. It's an autobiography signed. It's not, excuse me, it's a biography of her grandfather's experience in World War II, signed by the author and her grandfather, Gabby Gabreski, who happened to be the leading air ace of World War II. And Lauren turned up in my class, and I asked her about the similarity name. She said, yes, that's my grandfather. She said I was the first Southerner she'd ever met that knew that. And uh, today, she brought me her father and her family, she and her family, gave me this this one of few signed copies that they had that gave me this book and I would guess that uh, if she didn't feel fairly comfortable with me as a person as a friend as an instructor she wouldn't have done that that's just amazing it must, it must be so rewarding um, to teach in an environment like this uh, Lauren Gabreski made my day at least if not my month <laughs> That's great. Well, thanks for sharing that story. You're welcome.